Let us sketch the graph of y is equal to 3 over x minus 2 plus 4. Now, this is a graph of a hyperbola. So this, by looking at the equation, you should decide the type of graph. I say, well, this seems to be the graph of a hyperbola. So to graph a hyperbola, the first thing that you need to decide is the vertical asymptote. And that is by setting the denominator equal to zero. So here the denominator is x minus two. So if you remember the steps, it'll be helpful. So I'm going to set that this is equal to zero. I'll explain the maths behind this afterwards. So well, if x minus two is zero, x has to be two. Now what does this mean? When you put x is equal to two in this equation, what will the denominator become? the denominator will become zero. So if the denominator becomes zero, I hope you know you're not allowed to have the denominator as zero in maths. So let me explain. Suppose you would go five divided by zero is a maths error. Any number you can take for in that for that purpose. Say so 90 divided by zero is undefined. You're not allowed to divide by zero. And that's why for this function, your x is not defined, or this relationship, x, you cannot take the value of x. Now, to show that you cannot take the value of x, you draw a vertical asymptote through 2 on x-axis. So this is your horiz vertical asymptote, not horizontal. And this line is called, this line is x is equal to, this is line is called x is equal to 2. That means x is not going to be 2. Okay, because when x becomes 2, this becomes 0. Now, this is called the horizontal asymptote. Now, we have to decide the, sorry, this is the vertical asymptote. Now, we have to decide the horizontal asymptote. Now, the horizontal asymptote is decided by setting x is equal to a positive infinity and negative infinity. Now, if you don't want to go into the maths, just looking at the equation, I can say, let me first do without the maths. So by just looking at this, I can say this is 4. So I can say the horizontal asymptote is equal to y is equal to 4. I'll let me first grab this, and then I'll explain the maths. You need to understand the maths. OK, without the maths, there's no point in understanding anything. So first, let us draw the graph. I'll explain the maths now. So yeah, this is line y is equal to 4. So what is this graph? Th this is, you can say, the boundary of the graph. I, by looking at this, this uh, vertical and horizontal asymptote, I can say the graph would go somewhat like this. In this branch, there will be a branch like here, and there will be a branch going like, like this. OK, now let me explain why or how is your horizontal asymptote y is equal to 4. So if you put x is equal to a positive number, a huge positive number, so let us uh, go to menu and run, and let us cancel this. OK, and so we know the equation 3 divided by, let us take a positive, big positive number. So let us say 10,000, 10,000 minus 2. So use your logic. This, if you, I hope you understand, this is almost 0. 3 divided by this is almost 0. Plus 4 would be 4 plus something. If you go 3 divided by, say, let us put many zeros here, minus 2 plus 4. That's almost 4. So in other words, when x is approaching positive in infinity, when x approaches positive infinity, y is going to be 4 plus something. So it'll be 4 from above. I'll write like this. It'll be approaching 4 from above. And when x is approaching negative infinity, when x is approaching negative infinity, y would be approaching 4 from below. From below. So let us get calculator out again, and you go 
3 divided by, let us take a negative huge number, say minus 10,000, minus 2 plus 4. So it'll be uh, 3, oh, my, sorry, so this is not right, plus 4. I put pl plus 1 there. Mm. Plus delete 4. This is 3.99, okay. Say what happens if suppose you change this to say 1 million, okay. This will be 3.99. So this will be approaching 4 from below or from under, okay. So this is why I'm telling that your graph will be approaching 4, four from, in this branch it will be 4 plus something when x is approaching positive infinity. So your graph would look somewhat like this and here it will be approaching be 3, 3.999 or it will be approaching 4 from below. So the one branch would look, will be like this. I'll draw one branch like this and this is the next, this is the other branch. So this is 4 from below and this is 4 from above. Okay, the next thing that you need to decide is calculate the x-intercept by setting y is equal to 0. So let us write the equation y is equal to 3 over x minus 2 plus 4. And I'm going to set, I want to find the x-intercept by setting y is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 3 divided by x minus 2 plus 4. You can do this on a calculator, but if you don't know how to do it without the calculator, there is no point. So if you take away 4 from both sides, I hope you understand, minus 4 is equal to 3 divided by x minus 2. I'm taking away 4 from both sides. Okay, now what will happen? Now I'm cross multiplying, so I hope you see, can see this. x minus 2 is equal to 3 divided by negative 4 which is negative 0 0.75. So I'll write this again. So therefore x minus 2 is equal to negative 0 0.75. Now adding 2 to both sides, x is equal to minus 0 0.75 plus 2, which is x is equal to 2 minus 0 0.75. And 2 minus 0 0.75 is x is equal to 1.25. So x-intercept is, we'll check this on a calculator later on. Your x-intercept is 1.25. So this is 1 and this is 2, so 1.25 roughly comes here. So this is 1.25 on, sorry, this is on the x-axis, sorry. Okay, I at times get carried away. So this is 1, and this is 1.125 1. is here. So this is 1.25 on the x-axis. And that's your x-intercept. Okay, now to decide the y-intercept, the same approach, you have to set x is equal to 0. So let me write the equation again. y is equal to 3 over x minus 2 plus 4. So I'm going to put x is equal to 0, so y is equal to 3 over 0 minus 2 is minus 2 plus 4, which is 3 divided by negative 2 is minus 1.5. You can use the calculator, plus 4. So y is equal to 4 minus 1.4 minus 1.5. So your y-intercept is 2.5, 4 minus 1.5 is 2.5. So your y-intercept is 2.5. Okay. So your y-intercept, so let me use a blue color. Uh, how much is your y-intercept? 2.5. So this is 2 and this is 2.5. So this is 2.5 on the y-axis. Or this is your y-intercept. And graphing it, you know, this will be approaching this, your graph would look like this. These are the points. These are the things. Okay, I'll have to draw this again. Okay, so, so let me 
join like this and this will be approaching infinity okay you can think why this will be approaching infinity and the other branch would be the reflection of this okay so the branch would go somewhat like this and I'll have to delete this let me draw this better so this is will be approaching four from above oops should not touch the asymptote so this will be approaching four from above and this will be approaching four from below okay so as I told you this uh, this is also very interesting when what happens when X is approaching two from the right when X is approaching two from the right this will approach infinity so let me explain that bit when X is approaching two from the right that means when X is becoming say one point so when it's approaching 2 from the right, it will be 2.01. So let me show that in the calculator. This branch, you can do that yourself. So you go 3 divided by, you know, approaching 2 from the right means your x is, say, 2.01. Oh, 3 divided by 2.01 minus 2 plus 4. This is 304 what happens if it is 2.001 so let me put 2.0 many oos can you see this is approaching infinity positive infinity when x is approaching 2 from the right this will be approaching positive infinity and so let, let us also let me also explain when x is approaching 2 from the left that means x is becoming 1.99 something so let me change this so 3 divided by 1.99 minus 2 plus 4 minus 296. So what happens if it is 1.999? So let me put many 9s here. Can you see this is approaching negative infinity? So this is also very interesting. When x is approaching 2 from the right, this will be approaching positive infinity. And when it's x is approaching 2 from the left, this will be approaching negative infinity.